Here in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the New England Patriots. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Sony Michelle call it no gain on the game's first play and it's second down now throwing on second down Brady nowhere to escape and he goes down marching in for the sack Matthew Judon well there was second long now it's third and even longer they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. From the gun, it's Brady. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. Ingram again, a first down carry. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Jackson from the shotgun, eluding the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target. Third down here. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Here's Jackson to throw. And that will be incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that hollow metal sound is the bane of any kicker's existence. And here, that sound is going to keep our game scoreless. And you can see him give that body English as the ball was in the air. Come on, baby. Come on. But no dice that time. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easy. I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I... And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Pernell McPhee in there to bury him for a loss of 11. 
Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Shotgun now for Brady. And he'll get that to Michelle, complete. Give him nine on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. They do go for it. It's Brady. He's got Sanu. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Mohamed Sanu. 59 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard, but it's tough to simulate game speed and practice that often runs you into a penalty. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. After the penalty, it's Ingram. A good comeback there after the penalty. Nine yards, and it's second and six. Second and six, just inside the 30. They run. It's Mark Ingram. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. You must be dreaming. Hey, hey, check 24, check 24. Hey, hey, check 24, watch 24. Jim, Jim, hop on, hop on. Mike 4, Mike 5, 4, Wahoo. Quick talk, go. Jackson looking to throw on third. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. Let's go. 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 70-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of 6. From the 30 on second down, Brady, he's got Lacoste, his tight end. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Looking to throw on second down. Brady, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marcus Peters came screaming in on the corner blitz. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. On third and long, it's Brady. Uh, and that's complete. It's Watson. Cover three. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Letting one, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 16, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Second and 12, Jackson flush to his right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Watch Twitch. Watch Twitch. Flushed out right, and incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. 
problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The Pats at the line, ready to go. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Here's Brady. Here's Sanu on the catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. From the 27, Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They'll run on first down. Ingram trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 46 yard line. 58 for Mike, 58, 58 for Mike. All day, just like that, just like that. And 58 for Mike. Throwing on second down, Jackson. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 36. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. A 10th carry here for Mark Ingram. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. 58, right over there. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Sneed's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 18. On first down, it's Ingram. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. It's the pro bowler Jamie Collins that makes the stop. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Check, 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 check. That's a gain of six. Brings up third and three. Go, go. 58, boy. 58, 58. Mike. Let's go. Get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. From the gun on third down, Jackson escaping the pressure. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Seth Roberts 
there to make the grab as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game a diving catch for the score he laid out that was special and you know the first thing they're going to check right did he complete the process of the catch all the way through all the way to the ground ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hand all of that yes check the box touchdown So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Matt Judon able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Brady gives to Michelle. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. Now Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cornell McPhee, his second sack of the night. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The Patriots send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returnable for Thomas. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we come to the end of the third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Ingram again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Mike's 54. Mike's 54. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist. On third and one, Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. They'll run on first down. Ingram, and he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. Just wanted to make you a tight end. You resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big time position. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Hey, 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Stephon Gilmore on the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ingram, and he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Seven yards there and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. It's going to be a long day. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. This is Ingram. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. All day, all day, every day, any day, you go tight, you go tight. the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. 
he was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third right, down, man. you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. He's got the leg, but missed it's no it. good. He missed it right, and this score will stay right where it is. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it, and now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up, but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Well, look to throw. Complete to Watson, the tight end. Now, he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great, convincing performance. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.